Why, oh why, do they make stupid plastic packages for like drill bits and stuff so hard to get into? That plastic is savage. I was even using my Leatherman to break it and I just, whatever, I'm just being a big wuss. I used to hate the sight of my own blood. I'm still not fond of it. What am I doing? <laughs> I just had to walk over to Canadian Tire to get a drill bit for that freaking hole saw that I bought out in Coleman during the Chinook Lake trip. And then of course I had to open it up, make sure it fit, then watch walk all the way back to the van and I have to walk all the way. I should have just driven the van over. Anyway, wanted to make sure it fit. <laughs> Gave myself a boo-boo. That was not even intentional. That would not have been worth it. Not that funny. <clears throat> but, uh, so what's the whole point of this? What's the whole saw for? What's just sacrificing my finger for? <laughs> it's time to give the van some power. Okay, let me see. I don't have my tripod. Oh, sad day. Ah, uh, I need to get my tripod. Ha ha! So actually, may as well point this out because I was complaining about it at uh, Beaver Mines Lake that the legs were falling apart. Um, so these two legs on my tripod, one, two, they both came out. And this one is going to come out any day. I don't know if you can see. Right, but it's not in there very well. Um, construction adhesive didn't work. It's probably the material that this is made out of, but these two I used Gorilla Glue epoxy, and I don't think they're going anywhere now. Not pretty, but it's still functional. And I didn't have to spend any more money on a new tripod, so we'll see how long this lasts. Um, but yeah, just uh, wanted to point that out, because again, doesn't, you know, just because something breaks doesn't mean you gotta throw it out. Okay, power. The yeah, Snoco GCP1. <laughs> like, I know what that is. Um, <laughs> well, I know what it is, but it's not like I knew the number. Uh, Amazon. Uh, and also, I learned after Amazon that you could actually get it at Canadian Tire as well. But this is just a very simple extension cord, right? So, you plug here, boom. Other end, right there. This is going on the outside of the van. This will come through here, and then I will have. Shore power, which is just a cool of a word as bulkhead. Shore power. Really starting to make my van sound like a ship, a pirate ship. <laughs> it should be quick and simple to do. <laughs> we just gotta use this two inch hole saw to make a hole in the side of the van. Um, I've seen people do it both ways, come from the outside of the van in and go from the inside of the van out. I think for me, I'm gonna go inside of the van out. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to measure and measure again and then probably measure a third time and if not a fourth, fifth and sixth time because like I said, it's nerve wracking. We're putting a hole in the van. Stop blowing holes in my ship. I'm gonna come from the inside out because I know generally where I want the plug to go. It's going to be right back in here because if the battery's here, you're not gonna see back here, so we can have that cord coming, and then I want the cord running down there. I'm now realizing that you probably can't see anything. <clears throat> so this is the area, let me just show you, right? So come in here, battery's gonna be here. I want that cord right about there, and the cord will go down here and come out under there. There's a freaking Oregon Trail. Come out back there, and then I'll have that connection for whatever I want right about here. So that's why I think drilling from the inside out will work better for me. <clears throat> My one concern that I have is that right around that area, there is a little bit of a, one of these days I'm gonna have to get a better camera. I just watched the clip and it's all blurry. I flipped the camera around and did a little spiel and because I couldn't see myself, I couldn't tell that it wasn't in focus, which was great. So hopefully this is better. I'll try to give you another quick rundown of what I just said. Um, on the outside of the van, the body, there's a bit of a contour where it kind of has this almost like a bump and then a down and in. I want the electrical outlet to be on that lower side. The last thing I want is for this to be sitting on that contour because then the backing of it won't sit flush against the body of the van. It'd be a bit of a nightmare. So I think, I'm either, like I said, I'm gonna measure a bunch of times and then I think what I might do is take the hole saw off and just use the drill bit and then drill through the body of the van 
and then see where it is on the outside. And if, you know, worst case scenario, I just got to patch that up with some JB Weld. Or if James is watching, Bondo, and then prime it and paint it to fix the hole if it was wrong. Um, but let's hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> let's hope I measure enough that it's just where I want it to be. Another problem I might run into is if you'll, you'll notice the bottom of this wire, it's not coming out right out of the back in the middle, it'll come down on the bottom. That means I may have to use a reciprocating saw to make the hole in the wall on this side a little bit bigger to accommodate that because if you remember there's like two layers of insulation there plus the wall panel so i don't know if that just that two inch hole and this is going to come all the way through but we're going to find out so anyway i'm gonna go do a bunch of measuring and i'll see you all in the next clip look at this little guy he just came where can you see him where is he there he is he just came down to say hi and he's doing it again not focusing he just made his way down from the tree. What's up, little guy? Whoa! Freaking out. Spastic. All right, let's uh, we'll look at him go. <laughs> All right, measurements done. Little hole made. Let's see. Probably doing something wrong with the grill already. Yeah. Well, there's the first layer, and then that back there is the first layer of insulation, which is cut through absolutely no problem. Let's see if we can keep going, I guess. There we go. Okay, well, the insulation is easy to take out. The wood is buried at the bottom of the hole saw. Put the camera on the outside of the van. Can't be sure where it's happening. <laughs> I haven't gone that far yet. Let's see. I think it's right there. That little dot. not coming out. Oh. I don't know why I was told that if you're on this little setting with the screw, this isn't supposed to lock up on you, but it still is, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Something clearly. Does the battery not have enough power? No, oh, it should be fine. <laughs> Save the hole in the van. Imagine what it's gonna be like when I put the hole in for the roof vent. My god. There we go. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay, let me just get this camera angle better. So, there's that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm probably gonna hit the edges with a Dremel or even just some sandpaper just to smooth the metal down. It's a pretty good hole though, pretty clean cut. And I'm gonna absolutely have to make the hole in here bigger, probably just cut through the insulation a bit and a little bit of the wood panel just to accommodate for that part on the, on the plug. <sighs> clean this up. Give it a little bit of a sanding to smooth out the jagged metal. Hit this with some um, white primer paint that I got left over that I've kind of been using on the cabin tree just to cover up the bare metal so it doesn't rust. And then we will be installing that plug. Wow, I can see right. <laughs> Everybody does that. Every time they put a hole in their bed, it's gotta be a big deal. But it kind of is because it's like, this is what you're, this is not what you're supposed to do with a vehicle. But it's super exciting. Shore power. Okay, so it's been about two-ish hours or so. I sanded it with like 60 grit sandpaper and then I hit it with two coats of just that spray paint primer. Um, and now I've got to get through, I don't know if you can see that. 
but I got to get through <laughs> all of that layer. Those two layers of foam insulation plus the uh, wall panel before that cord is actually going to fit. So what I'm thinking about doing is hitting it with a reciprocating saw. That'll probably be my best bet. Just make a little groove down so that it can hang in there. And then we're going to, let's see here, we're going to hit it with some of this that I just happen to have left over. I bought two of these a couple of years ago. It's marine silicone. Should be good enough. Should be good enough. <laughs> Should be good enough. This one is actually unopened. I was gonna buy a whole new thing, and I found this in my toolbox, so that was lucky. Why do I have marine silicone sealant? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna saw that out with the saw, and then uh, we will get to putting in those self-tapping screws with a little bit of silicone, and hopefully. That's it. Okay, so that was easier than I thought it would be. Just this little janky piece cut out here. Sorry, again, with the lighting. Um, and I just have that shoved in from the other side. But just, oh, real dark, but just this little U here, right? I just cut that out and then dug out the insulation, which was super easy to get out of there. And now the cord will fit down at the end there. And then we will seal that up from the outside. But first, what I'm gonna do is hit this entire area with the vacuum because there's a whole bunch of dust down in here. It's so, it's so very bright out here. So hopefully you can see this because I can barely see anything on my screen. But what I've done is I lined up the holes. It's got a built-in gasket at the back of the cap. Lined up the holes on the gasket with the holes on the actual front of the plug. Held it right up to the flush with the body. Used the drill to just make tiny little, I don't want to call them pilot holes because I didn't go all the way in, just little markings. So I can see where the self-tapping screws that it came with need to go. So now, I'm just gonna hit the back of this with a bead of this silicone. And we should be good to go. Probably gonna overdo this, but I'll clean it up after. Look at that. <laughs> I hope it's all lined up on the inside. That is uh, short power. <laughs> I'm super excited about it. Look at that. We put a hole in the van and we fixed it. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's silicone on this. Let's get that off. <laughs> Again, is it super professional looking? Probably not, but it's gonna serve us just fine. Let's uh, get the heck out of this heat. We'll go chat about all this a little bit more back in the van. <laughs> Not much you can see, but there it is. There the plug. I mean, you saw it. It is what it is. And it's coming through the wall. And now that is huge and ugly. And I suppose if I wanted to make this semi more permanent, I could hit this with some spray foam. I don't think I'm going to worry about that. It's going to be, I won't be seeing back here and unless it becomes a problem, which it shouldn't because we sealed it with the silicone, that should be just fine. I was going to think like maybe bugs or something getting in, but the silicone should prevent not just water, but bugs too. So let me put you, we're going to, let's, we got to put this drawer back in. My goodness here. You can sit in the bottom drawer that's up on the water station right now. <laughs> like my club added security. So yeah, that's, uh, we got shore power. That's super cool. I actually haven't tested it yet, so maybe we should uh, make sure it works. Hang on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, all right, so I got an extension cord running to it outside. This is the reciprocating saw that I used to make the rest of that hole. Plugged into the shore power line. Why am I so surprised? It's literally just an extension cord. Like I didn't have to wire anything. I just had to make a hole in the van and then screw in the connection on the outside. Not even the connection, just like the gasket. I don't know what to, what to call it, but that's uh, that's awesome. My test now will be, it's weird because 
it's it's a it's 15 amps and i know that because it's the regular like wall outlet size when you talk about other rvs with short power you can have also 30 amps which are bigger and 50 amps which are even bigger and that's the kind of stuff that you find at campgrounds that have serviced sites right and then you need i think you want like a 30 amp connection minimum if you're going to be running stuff like two air conditioners and whatnot in your big fancy rv um i'm curious to test out how much this can handle i assume it can handle anything that a power strip in your house could handle. So um, I wanted to get this in because I wanted it, eventually I wanted to have the ability to be, when I'm staying with friends and family, or if I end up staying at a campsite that does offer power, to be able to hook up to it. Because the plan, like I said, is the battery will be here, and then on the outside, I'm going to mount my battery charger that I have that will be able to plug into this and then charge up the house battery if need be, or when need be, as opposed to, you know, driving, and before we get solar, it's always good to have like redundancies. So three ways of charging the house battery eventually, and this is leading to one of them. Other big things that have kind of happened here to talk a little bit more candidly, um, if you don't follow me on social media, you wouldn't know that uh, my little brother who actually lives in the province to the west of us, west of me, I don't know where you are, what kind of camera angle is this? <laughs> he showed up unexpectedly the other day, which is kind of cool. So for those who don't know, if you just stumbled across this video, the whole thing was happening here with this van life movie channel is I'm taking the summer of 2021 to build this van out to make it full time livable. And I need to sort of do that by this fall at the latest, unless my timetable gets moved up again. I am back staying with my parents after the disintegration of a relationship with the ex. And that's when I made the decision that I wanted to do this for myself to better my life. If you can figure out all of that by watching previous videos of mine, I'll probably get into it again in the future. Um, but they, my parents, will eventually be moving to that same province as my little brother. And they're planning on doing that before the summer is over. The, um, so where was I going with this? Oh, yes. This is the home that my brother and I grew up in. This is where my parents have lived for the last 31 years. He showed up, he's got work here in the city next month. Um, he does work for Netflix. Uh, well, this is actually for, uh, not Netflix, a movie. Skulls, the new Predator movie. He's doing stunts on it. He might even have a speaking part. Anyway, he's here to do that. And I just think it's kind of cool. All four of us are gonna be under the same roof for like one last hurrah before the house is gone. I think that's kind of cool in a weird sort of bittersweet way. Um, so that's gonna make for a really fun summer outside of all the camping excursions I'm going on with my cousin and I got other camping trips lined up with, um, with Mike who has shown up in a couple of videos of mine already. Gonna hit up his place out in BC at some point. It's gonna be a really good summer. So this with having my little brother here and all four of us here and the whole family sort of together again is really cool. And with the inclusion of my daughter, it's just kind of making everything even better, right? Just creating new memories, which is super awesome. So anyway, that's getting way off track. A little bit of video diary, I guess, for me today. <laughs> video diary and shore power, no big deal. God, I love that word, shore power, just sounds so cool. I'm never gonna get bored of that word, I don't think. Is that weird? Probably. That's it for this one. We got that installed. If you have any questions when it comes to this thing, ask me. I'm not doing as much detail with my installs as I used to either. Maybe that'll change. I don't really know what I'm doing. I think that's pretty evident. So until the next one, guys, just be happy, be creative, be yourselves, and most importantly, just be positive. I'll see you guys in the next one.